Greetings everyone! Let's start with a definition of parameter estimate. Parameter estimation is a field of statistic that employs sample data to determine a distribution's parameter. The use of sample data is used in parameter estimation, which is a part of statistics. So what is the sample? Sample data is used to pick a representative subset of data point or a smaller sample of the population to uncover patterns and trends in the larger data set under investigation. For example, we can obtain sample data by age bracket and year level for the entire student population of a school. The following are some estimators. A method for determining parameter values that involves charting data on special plotting paper and deriving parameters from the visual plot. This is referred to as rank regression. It's a method for determining parameter values that minimize the sum of the residual squares. Maximum likelihood estimation is a method for determining parameter values that maximize the likelihood function given a set of observations. Methods of Bayesian estimation, a group of estimate techniques aimed at lowering the posterior expectation of the utility function. Data is collected and used to update our opinions about a situation once existing knowledge is written down. In practice, this implies something like this. Parameters, facts and figures. Parameters are descriptive characteristics of a whole population that can be used to build distribution curves using a probability distribution function. To distinguish parameters from sample statistics, they are frequently denoted by Greek letters. The Greek letters mu is used to indicate the population mean, and the Greek letter sigma is used to represent the population standard deviation. Parameters are fixed constants, meaning they do not change over time like variables do. However, because it is impossible to measure an entire population, their values are frequently unknown. Several specific factors, generally on to three, characterize each distribution completely. The parameters necessary for three distributions are shown in the table below. The parameter values determine the placement and shape of the curve on the distribution plot, and each parameter value combination produces a unique distribution curve. Parameter 1 of the distribution Parameter 2 of the distribution Parameter 3 of the distribution Chi-square degrees of freedom Normal mean standard deviation 3-parameter gamma shape scale threshold. Parameters are descriptive measure of a population as a whole. However, because it is impossible to measure an entire population, their values are frequently unknown. As a result, you can estimate parameter values using a random sample of the population. Obtaining estimates of population parameters as well as the level of error associated with these estimates is one goal of statistical analysis. These figures are sometimes referred to as sample statistics. There are a few different kinds of parameter estimations. A parameter single most likely value is called a point estimate. The sample mean, for example, is the Lloyd estimate of the population mean. The population parameters' confidence intervals are a set of values that are likely to include it. Point estimate is the value of a statistic that estimates the value of a parameter. For example, the sample mean is a point estimate of the population mean. Suppose we want to estimate the average number of school hours the students prefer in a day. We could take a random sample of 21 students and find the average number of school hours each student prefer. In this survey, we conducted the average number of preferred school hours of the students is 7.14 hours. Often, there is another question asked. It is, how good is a point estimate? There is one way of knowing how close a particular point estimate is a population mean if the population is larger. For this reason, statisticians prefer another type of estimate, called interval estimate. 
Interval estimate. An interval for a known parameter is an interval or a range of values used to estimate the parameter with a specific confidence level of estimate. It is also called confidence interval. To make our interval estimate more reasonable and confident, we usually use a degree of confidence to describe interval estimate, like 95%, 98%, 99%, and so on. The level of confidence represents the expected proportion of intervals that will contain the parameter if a large number of different samples is obtained. The level of confidence is denoted 1 minus A multiplied by 100%. For example, a 95% level of confidence implies that if 100 different confidence intervals are constructed, each based on a different sample from the same population, then we will expect 95 of the intervals to include the parameter and 5 to not include the parameter. Formula for the confidence interval of the population mean for a specific A, where standard deviation is known and population is normally distribution or sample size, n is greater than or equal to 30. For example, we are to find the 99% confidence interval of the survey we conducted with 21 respondents with 7.14 mean and 1.53 standard deviation. Interpretation one can be 99% confident that the mean number of preferred school hours of all the students is between 6.28 hours and 8 hours, based on 21 samples. I hope you guys get a lot of information from us on this discussion that we had shared to you. We just want all of you who are watching right now to remember to open your eyes and learn how to analyze your surroundings for you to see these kinds of real life problems relating to estimation parameter, related rate, and any other math problems we have in this world. That's all. We want to say thank you again for being with us to watch us discuss about these topics. We hope you to have a great day ahead. Goodbye.